All right, Shalom Akim. This is Tots Doc Ball coming from GMS Los Angeles, Ancient of Days. Just coming with a real quick hit, man. I'm outside with the spirits on me just to do a quick video. All I'm going to do is read Micah chapter 1, verse 1 through 9. Okay. Uh, Salakia, there's wind. I'm outside. Uh, but when the Lord comes back, man, he's going to he's gonna conquer and destroy, okay? So when he comes back, he's going to do, uh, he's going to be full on war zone, war mode, okay? Uh, but before I start, I just want to give all praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Wahabah Kakudash. Give me double honors to the elders of GMS on down, okay? And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect who hope, believe, and receive this truth in sincerity and in spirit as the Lord demands. <clears throat> okay, um, so yeah, when the Lord comes back, you have a Shia, uh, who the world isn't calls Jesus Christ, man. He's not coming back with roses and come kisses and to give hugs, all right? He's not coming up for no debates, for no discussions, okay? He, he, he is a true power under his father, the, the true power, Yahweh, all right? Yahweh Shia is known as the mighty one, all right? Yahweh is known as the almighty. So the mighty. The mighty one, Yahweh Shai, is coming back with great wrath, and and when he comes back, he's gonna he's gonna do a a, a loud a cry, okay? A lot, you know, because because we have a lot of we have a lot of anger in us, and 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 and, and if in, in us the hopeful elect, how much more uh, the the Lord and His Son, all right? So when the Lord sends His Son, He's not coming to play games, man. It's gonna be a big entrance, and He's not gonna be riding over here cruising. He's gonna straight up just teleport. And they're gonna be right there, coming, coming through dimensions, man, through, through the fourth dimension, all right, coming to tear shit up. That's not gonna be. There's not gonna be no warning. Esau's not gonna know when he's coming. He's just gonna. He's just. He's literally just gonna pop up, all right. It's gonna be gangster, man. All right, it's gonna be pure righteous judgment. Uh, so lucky there's uh, there's a wind blowing to the uh, speaker, man. I'm outside. I'm just trying to make this a quick hit, man. But like this picture here, man. And this is that movie, the 300 with the Spartans, and the spiritual men, because the Spartans were the Israelites, the the, the Lacedonians, all right. Um, in the movie, you know, of course Esau and Hollywood, they gotta make them look like Edomites, but they're really Israelites. They were all they were all Jakes, all right, from the tribe of Judah, all the way down, all right, to the tribe of Issachar, all right. So you got the you got the Jews, the, the head tribes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, then you got Ephraim, all right, the rest of Jerusalem. Yerushalayim, all right, Yerushalayim, all right, the princes of power, okay, the, the house of David, all right, but Yahweh Shai is coming back and he's gonna do a loud cry, man, and it's gonna be total annihilation because this world is sick and it's, and it's filled with wickedness, all right. Though the world looks at itself as it's going on and they're gonna keep going on, though hand join in hand, they shall all fall, they shall all, they shall all come, come, come down, all right. Everything's gonna be laid waste. This is Micah, one chapter one verse one. All right, I'm reading. I'm gonna read the verse nine. It says the word of the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai that came to Micah, the Morathite, in, in the days of Jotham, Ahaz, and Ezekiah, kings of Judah which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. Verse 2, Hear all ye, hear all ye people, hearken, O earth, and all that therein is, and let the Lord Yahweh be witness against you. The Lord Yahweh Shem Shai from his holy temple. For behold, the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai cometh forth out of his place, and will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth. All right, so Yahweh Shem Shai is literally coming out from the fourth dimension. All right, from the spirit world, he's coming out from his place, from the from the throne. All right, from the from the right hand, from his throne, at the right hand side of Yahweh. Okay, he's literally just gonna teleport. All right, and it's gonna and they're all and he's gonna be rolling deep. All right, he's gonna be rolling with his troops, with all the angels, thousands and thousands. are gonna cover the whole sky. All right, and then he's coming in that father that father chariot. All right, the so called UFO. It's gonna be pure white. They're just gonna teleport, and they're just, they're just gonna be here, man. It's gonna be straight up slaughter, all right? Annihilation. It's not gonna be like these movies where there's gonna be any any little bit of a fight with Esau, and he's gonna he's gonna scratch these angels, or like he's gonna scratch the chariots, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be total annihilation, all right? These people are gonna run in fear. 
and Esau, Esau, and all the elites, man, they're gonna be so scared that that that, that they're gonna pray that the that they rather have the, the the rocks, the mountains fall on them, than than to have to face him who sits on the throne, which is the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Verse four, and the mountains shall be molten under him, which, which means governments. All right, it's not just talking about actual mountains, although. There will be mountains crumbling down because it's going to be very heavy, man. And and the, and the Lord's frequency, His His power, you know, His His might, it's, it's going to shake the whole earth, all right. And the earth is already going to be desolate by then. It's going to already be an all-out chaos. No one's going to even, no one's even going to expect the Lord at that time, because it's pretty much they're going to think that the world's ending, and there's nothing but death, and that's it, man. That 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 God gave up the world, and that was it. But Yahweh is going to come in the midst of World War Three, and, and total totally conquer the earth man with 144,000 okay the the mighty man of David all right so that's what it's that's what it means by mountain it means governments you know Esau's governments you know his 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 uh his establishments all right and the mountains shall be molten under him and the valleys shall be cleft as wax before the fire, all right. So everything is just gonna be totally annihilated, man. And as the waters that are poured down a steep place, for the transgression, transgression of Jacob, is all this. And for the sins of the house of Israel, what is the transgression of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? Therefore, I will make Samaria as a heap of the field, and as a plantings of a vineyard, and I will pour down the stones thereof into the valley, and I will discover the fountains thereof. And all the graven images thereof shall be beaten to pieces. All right. So then, so that's talking about all these idols, man. Your your Jesus your Jesus Christ statues. All right. Your Buddha statues. Your fucking your American idols. All right, your celebrities, whatever these people, whatever these people hold on to, man. All right, every every little thing, everything is gonna be thrown down. There's not gonna be one thing that's gonna be left untouched. All right, the Lord's gonna be in judgment, and he's gonna he's gonna let everybody know uh, who who's the, who's the boss here. <laughs> All right, he's gonna let everybody know who's the boss here, and who's in charge, and who's been in charge this whole fucking time. All right. And the and the Lord has purposely been sending demons on these people to let them think that they're in their own world and that that they they can do and believe in whatever they want, you know, and have peace and keep on working, you know, and just just doing this stupid ass cycle under Esau. All right, but little do they know that Yahweh Hashem Shai has allowed all this to happen, because that's how Yahweh Hashem Shai gets down. He literally set them up for destruction. All right, there's some that he set up for destruction, which is most, including the two thirds. This time around, and then there's there's the few, the elect 144,000 on down to the third, uh, who he who he's chosen from the very beginning, uh, to, to receive salvation, and protection and guidance and, and this truth. All right, and that's just the way the Lord wants it, man. And there's nothing you can do against the will of the Lord. He, he is the true power, the, the true God, God, truly. All right, and there's nothing you can do against it. And all the hires thereof shall be burned with the fire. All right, nuclear missiles, ICBMs. All right, that's what's coming, man. This, that, that's the end game. Just how Esau shows you in the movies, man. Like Judgment Day, and he calls it Judgment Day in Terminator 2, and so many other movies. All right, it's lock it, man. <clears throat> and so many other movies. All right, because because Esau knows the scriptures and he knows what's gonna happen. So it's, it's called predictive programming. All right, and 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 that's mainly for the elect. All right. Because everybody else is a fucking, fucking moron. All right, they, they're dead weight. They're do they're zombies. They don't, they don't matter right now. All right, the two thirds they don't matter right now. The heathen and these devils, Esau, Edomites, they never mattered. You know. Um, and all the idols thereof, what will I lay desolate? For she gathered it of the hire of an harlot of a of a whore. Okay, harlot means whore. All right, was that was that horror talking about? It's talking about Great Babylon, man. That's a spirit, man. It's a lucky, man. You know, yeah, but I'll show you the truth, man. Uh, the harlot is the is the whore, okay? The whore that that that, that committed her fornication with all with all the lands, 
all right? And they're all gonna turn on her. And that's what the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai wants. And that's that's what's gonna happen. And he's gonna burn that, that whore, that great Harley, with fire, all right? Which is the nuclear missiles. This this whole land of America, from the, from the top to the bottom, from the left to the right, every inch is gonna be burned up and, and left waste forever. And it will be a, forever a memorial uh, uh, of what, what wickedness is rewarded with, okay? So that's what it's talking about the harlot. Alright. And they shall return to the higher to the higher of a harlot. Therefore I will wail and howl. Okay, this is what the Lord says. It says he says, I will wail and howl. It's not talking about crying, okay, because the Lord knows no weakness. He's he's not actually crying like 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 crying of depression, okay? It's talking about a war cry, okay? He's gonna wail and howl, man. Ah you know? Ah oh, man, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, coming in, coming in the spirit of his father, man, Yahweh, you know, He's gonna come screaming, man. And it's gonna be epic. His voice is gonna be very deep and very scary, okay. And it's gonna echo throughout the whole earth, all right. And you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it go through your whole body, and you, mostly you're gonna feel it in the spirit. And you're gonna know that the Lord is here, and judgment, and judgment has come, all right. And and none shall escape. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Fuck yeah, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. That's what we. That's what we have hope for, man. That's that's what gives us motivation. All right, and that's the spirit, man. Therefore, I will wail and howl. I will go stripped and naked. All right, I will make a wailing like the dragons, and mourning as the owls. For her, for her wound, it's at the it's at the bottom here of the screen. For her wound is incurable, for it is come unto Judah, the head tribes. Okay, the Jews. Uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay, he has come unto the gate of my people, even to Jerusalem, which is the rest of which is the rest of Israel, Ephraim. You know the the rest of the, uh, the tribes on down. You know Ephraim, uh, um, Issachar. All right, yeah, all, all those, all those. That's all the rest. That's known as Jerusalem. All right, so that's what the Lord is coming to do, man. And when he comes, he's going to do a great war cry like this, man. Coming. And great strength and great boldness, all right, with, with with the with the power and the fear of of Yahweh, His Father, okay, because Yahweh will be within with within His Son, and within the elect, and, and His spirits everywhere. So He's also going to be in that fire, man. <laughs> but but when Yahweh Shai comes, man, it's going to be a big entrance. It's going to be a huge entrance, all right. Everybody, every eye shall see Him, all right, and everyone shall shall wail because of Him, because they know that judgment has come and that the Lord. The, that the Lord has fi has finally has finally ended it, you know, and, and there's nothing they, they could do about it. Uh, all, all beliefs, all, all doubt, all the shit talking, all the scoffing, all, all the unbelief, all right, all the whoring, whoring around, all the foolishness, all right, all the all the stuff that, that the Lord has has allowed Satan to do to deceive the rest of the nations is gonna is gonna be is gonna be ended at that time. In, in less than a second, okay, and, and it shall all come down. And so when he comes, man, you know he's gonna be doing a, a loud war cry, man, and that's it. It's gonna be total annihilation. He's gonna annihilate it with him and his elect, man. That's it. We're coming to conquer, and that's it. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's kingdom shall reign forever and ever man and and there's nothing that anyone could do about it okay and that's actually the, uh, the best thing that could ever happen all right even though these people may not want to know uh the heathen the heathen they're gonna they're gonna like it later when, when they're reborn in the kingdom after they, they get they get destroyed all right because reincarnation is in the bible but these devils man and esau man they're, they're, they're gonna be destroyed all right they're gonna go straight to slavery for a thousand years and they're gonna be destroyed. Alright, I'm just trying to make this quick, man. So I'm just gonna end it with this video of the, the game called, called the God of War. And, and that's spiritual, man. It is called the God of War. And in this last game, man, they made him look like Yahweh Shai with a beard and everything. And, and it, it's kind of spiritual, too, because the Spartans are Israelites. Alright. And, uh, and yeah, man, and they, they gave this character like a real deep voice and everything. And like the whole spirit, man. Like if you, if you got the spirit, man, you'll know. But this is how he, this is how he's gonna come, brothers. 
and, uh, and that's all I gotta say, man. It's Shalom because uh, I, I gotta get going, man. It's, it's cold as fuck out here. You know, it's been real cold right now. Stay, stay warm out there, brothers. Keep studying, keep fasting, keep praying, man. We're almost here, all right. The famine, the word is coming soon. Uh, civil war, all right. Martial law. Okay, all this is gonna come down. So stay strong, brothers, and keep pushing every day.